name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit one God Amen. Today the the gospel is speaking about the five foolish virgins or the ten virgins, the five foolish and the five wise. And this is the story of our life. All of us are the virgins. Some are foolish and some are wise. What is the difference? كلنا من كلنا زي العزارة في خمسة جاهلات وفي خمسة حكيمات. And the وفرق الزيت. The difference is the oil. The difference between the five foolish and the five wise is the oil. And because of the lack of the oil in the foolish, they were not ready. Just to tell you in in the Jewish time. Why the Lord mentioned this uh, beautiful parable? The, the parable was simply, if uh, we'll assume that Adam and Eve are the, 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 the bride and the bridegroom. Eve will be in her home, and Adam will be coming to her in an unexpected time. So he proposed everything is, is moving fine, but the, this time when the, 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 the husband will come, this is part of the ceremony. So he, the five, ten of the the, uh, the friends of the of the, the bride will be waiting for the bridegroom to come. Usually, he come in a boat, and they are waiting for him. If he is late, they wait for him, and they have the the lamps ready. I don't know if, if any of you know what were, what type of lamp. You know the the lamp of like Aladdin. Is it a lead in the lamp? Or the, it, has, it has an oil on it? Lump of gas. Lump of gas, but the newer generation, they don't know what we are talking about. It is just a small container that has oil and has somehow they put a small uh, uh, thread of cotton or, or a piece of, uh, of cloth. But this will be the, the lid and for how it will be lighting from the oil. The more you have oil, the more this <clears throat> piece of, uh, of cotton or piece of thread will be uh, will be getting the oil and will be lighting or giving light for a long time. So when, when the bridegroom is coming, whoever is ready, they have their, their lamps are lit, they, they walk with the bridegroom, they go to the wedding place and they go inside and they shut the door and no one can be allowed afterwards. This is the, 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 the history of the Jewish nation. So God is telling us today in the feast of the departure of Saint Isa that this is this is the situation. All of us are the 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 virgins, some are wise and some are foolish. You cannot know. You cannot know who is in the church because we are all virgins. We are all living, not virgins as, uh, as nuns or monks. The virginity is the virginity of the heart. You can be married, but still your heart is virgin. It belongs to God. You can be uh, living <clears throat> uh, a life of holiness. And whether you are living, whether you are married or not, whether you are a youth or, or old, regardless of, it is the virginity of the heart. It is that the heart is consecrated, our maktub ali, this belongs to God. In the Old Testament, do you know there was something written on the forehead that uh, Abu is not that, he's, he's, it is not a tattoo, but there is like a sign written on the priest in the Old Testament. Do you know what this sign is? Just one word. Start with H. O L Y. It says Holy. It has a, like a small name tag. We all know Holy. What does it mean, Holy? Holy means if you if you take the, the book. If you take this book, I don't know if you can see it or not, but can you see what is written on the book, on the side? Written on. 
is not written holy. Maktub abuna. So this is mine. And if you if you take it with you, and you say, no, but I, I found this book, nobody. But you, you say the, 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 the sign, it says, no, it doesn't belong to anyone else. It belongs to the priest. So the word holy means mukhassas. This belongs to. It is not that we are living a holy life, that we are uh, dropping the oil, that we are praying 24-7. No. It means that we belong to God. That we are, we are His. We are His belonging. And when we are His, then we do everything for His sake. Then we think the way He wants us to think. Then we live the way He wants us to live. But unfortunately, this was not the story, or this was not the what happened with the five foolish virgins, because they didn't have oil. The challenge is, then what is the oil that we need really? What is the oil that we need really to collect? Because if life is simply collecting oil, so what is the oil that we need to collect? Maybe you have heard this before, but I, I, I don't get bored saying it and repeating it many times. The fathers of the church said this, the, whole, the oil that we need to live, to collect is, number one, the, it is the work of the Holy Spirit. The work of the Holy Spirit. You know what is the most important thing that the Holy Spirit is working inside of us to tell us to do? Prayer. Love. Who said, it is repentance. This is the megaphone of God. God is telling us, repent. Because why, why this is really the main work of the Holy Spirit, I will tell you from the word of the Lord. He said, if you say anything bad about the, Holy, the, or the Son of Man, it can be forgiven. But if you blaspheme again as the Holy Spirit, it will never be forgiven. Then, it takes ala roha qudus Then, there is a sin that it will never be forgiven. Yes, it is blaspheming against the Holy Spirit. Abu, you are talking in language, what, what do you mean? In blaspheming against the Holy Spirit. The blaspheming against the Holy Spirit is telling the Holy Spirit, no. But what the Holy Spirit is telling me to do? The Holy Spirit is telling me to repent. So the blaspheming against the Holy Spirit is refusing to respond to the voice of God of the Holy Spirit inside of me, telling me, repent till the end of, of life. Ten. Blaspheming against the Holy Spirit is refusing to respond positively, to agree, to respond to the voice of the Holy Spirit inside each one of us till the end of the life. I cannot forget this. There was a sick man who has been sick for a very, very long time. I don't know him, but he doesn't know me has been sick for a long time. Family and, and friends are calling and telling me, Abuna, this person needs to take communion. So I go. And, uh, and I, I, I bring him communion. He is in a, in a very bad shape, uh, health-wise. And uh, this is what happened. So, I enter the room, this is the bed, and he is sleeping on the bed, and he is looking to me. And when he saw me entering with the communion, he closed his eyes, and he turned his back to me, and he slept. Again, I'm entering with communion, I'm entering with Christ, who is given for the remission of sins and eternal our salvation and remission of sins and eternal life for those who partake of him. He looked to me, closed his eyes, and he turned his back, and he pretended that he is sleeping. You can't bring all the, the horse to the, the, the river, but you cannot force the horse to drink. You can bring communion all the way to the person, but it is our willingness. Al-Irada, do we really want God in our life or not? Do we really accept Him or not? Do we really follow Him or not? Do we really 
uh, live with him or not. So, number one is the, the, the oil is the work of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> you know what is repentance? What is uh, sin? Sin is putting... If you have, uh, if you have a, a candle that is being lit, and you bring uh, a cover of, uh, you know, the cover of any any uh, cooking pot, and put it on the candle. Is the candle going to to, to be uh, giving light anymore? It will be quenched. The, the the fire will be quenched because you are <coughs> turning off the fire, turning off the air, or preventing the air that is coming for for the combustion. And now that there is no there is no fire, there is no light. So when we don't repent, we quench the, 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 this fire of the Holy Spirit inside of us. So the first thing, the first thing to, to collect oil, the first thing to collect oil is when you listen, listen, I don't know, does it show? It is not showing. I hope it will connect if it didn't. When you listen to his voice, which is the voice of the Holy Spirit, do not. Do you know the Bible? This Bible verse. Do not harden your heart. وَإِنْ سَمِعْتُمْ صَوْتُهُ فَلَا تُقَصِّرُ قُلُوبَكُمْ. Do not harden your heart. When you listen to the voice of God, repent. This is the time. I haven't seen my father of confession for a long time. Do not harden your heart. When you listen the, to the voice of God, pray. Do not harden your heart. Give because there is someone who is in need. Do not harden your heart. Give because the church is in need. Do not harden your heart. Serve because there is a need for service. Do not harden your heart. Live a pure life because the, this path of those people who are going away from God is not going to lead for my salvation, do not harden your heart. Forgive those who are around you, do not harden your heart. Give thanks and appreciate the blessings that God is giving you, do not harden your heart. Uh, reconcile with this person who has wronged you for a long time and they are in fault all the time, do not harden your heart. By this, when you are not hardening your heart, you are collecting oil it is the oil of the work of the Holy Spirit inside of each one of us. So when you listen, so the first point today, when you listen to His voice, don't harden your heart. We don't need to harden our heart towards people, towards those who have wronged us, towards those who are uh, away from us, towards those. Did the Isa harden her heart today? She, she was the most quick to respond. St. John the Short, Allah, yes, you have, do, do, I have, do I have an option for, for repentance? This is the work of the Holy Spirit inside of her. Yes, you have, you have a chance of repentance, but not here. Then you need to leave. And she left everything for the sake of God. When you listen to his voice, do not harden your heart. This is how you collect oil. Second point in collecting oil is do charitable deeds charitable deeds for the sake of for the sake of the love of God for the sake of the love of God number one when you listen to his voice do not harden your heart do charitable deeds for the sake of the love of God. When you do good deeds, but for the sake of God, it collects oil for you. This is the reserve of oil. Many of the, of the fathers of the church said this. The oil 
is the, the good deeds that you do it for the love of God. If I am doing a good deed, for example, because uh, I love Shady and he is my best friend and I, I want to, to do anything for him, this is great. This is good friendship. But if there is someone whom I don't know or someone who is not, will never be paying me back or someone whom my relationship with him or her is, good, is not good. So when I do the good deed for their sake, for, for the sake of the love of God, this counts. This counts as uh, oil that is being collected. So how to collect oil? When you listen to his voice, do not harden your heart. Number two, do the good deeds because of the love of God, not because of anything else. There was a man visiting one, actually he, he, a close friend of mine, was visiting a monastery. <coughs> We turn off the others. He was visiting a monastery, and there was a, a monk uh, living in the wilderness. For uh, he stays in the wilderness for a very, very long time. He returned back to the monastery for a few days, then he leaves back to the wilderness. So it happened that my friend was there, and he met this uh, monk, an anchorite, a mutawahid was been coming and he met him in the liturgy and he attended the liturgy with him and he knew that this is father so and so. So he went closer to him and told him, can you give me a word of advice? So this monk looked in the eye to this friend and told him, before doing anything, before doing anything in your heart, say this in your heart, for the sake of your love, O my Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of your love, O oh my Lord Jesus Christ, من أجل محبتك يا ربي يا سوى المسيح. Before doing anything, so he told them, What do you mean? He told them, If someone is, uh, do you know, تعرفوا ناس مع عندهم مصلحة جاية, they're just there for to like, suck your life out of you, then they will leave you afterwards. Have you seen some people like this? I have seen many. There is no big deal. And you know that this uh, this person is calling, and you are you know exactly that they never asked about you. They never they, you are not in their interest at all. They just need something from you, and you see the phone ringing, and you can exactly write the script or this phone call. Oh, hello, how are you doing? I miss you so much. But in my mind, okay, tell me what you want. Ah, uh, uh, can you do this for me because I. Uh, just pause, pause. If I'm doing it for the sake of he or she are worthy, I will not do it. If, they, if, I'm, if I'm doing it for the sake of they really care about me, I will never do it. If I'm doing it for the sake of that they are genuine and honest and they are not living a hypocritical life, I will not do it. But if you remember this word of this priest, who, this monk who said, before doing anything, say in your heart, for the sake of the love, for the sake of your love, O oh my Lord Jesus Christ. Are you going to do it? hundred times. <laughs> hundred times. And this is what Amber Brown was doing. Do you remember the story of Amber Brown? A guy came and begged him for 14 times. He, he come, Amber Brown, can you give me money? He goes, he gave him money, he goes, agreed, rotate for 14 times. And four friends agreed to go to Amber Brown to take money from him, and they pretended or they claimed that the other friend is dead. So the three of the four went to Amber Brown, please give us money because our friend died and we want to bury him. He told them, uh, sure, no problem. He gave them the money, they went all the way, they found their, their fourth friend dead. They kept me, they kept screaming and how is this happening? They brought him to Amber Brown, he prayed for him and he rose again. He knew that they are lying, but he is doing it for the sake of the love of God, not for the sake of whether they deserve or not, whether they were there for you when people, uh, when, when you are going through a very hard time in life or not. They were, they, you are helping, you are doing it for the sake of the love of God, and you will find that you have a completely different mindset in your relationship with the people around you. And this is what making the difference. 
before everything do for the sake of the love, for the sake of your love oh my lord jesus in اجل محبتك يا رب يسوع المسيح may god give me and give each one of us that we will collect oil starting from today from starting from this liturgy pray for those who have wronged you pray for those who have uh, dealt with you in an unfair way please pray for those who uh, whether intentionally or unintentionally and tell God, give me that I will forgive them. Give me that when I listen to your voice, I will not harden my heart. Give me that I will not do this uh, uh, hardening my, my heart when I hear to your voice and do the charitable deeds for the sake of the love of God. Who is the glory forever and ever. Amen.